What did you say? Nothing. Oh, that's what I thought. I say, oh boy, what about this drink you promised me an hour ago? Ten minutes ago, you mean? It seems like hours. Oh, so you want something to take away the taste of that filthy stuff your friends call cocktails. They're friends of mine no longer. Not after giving me that to drink. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Won't be long now, Reggie. Face along here will fix us up. Do they serve doubles? They always have with me. Well, what are we slowing down for? <laughs> Clara Jarms has never let me down yet. <sighs> Reckon they didn't expect trade like this when they built the place. Eddie, after all the money they spent on it. Yes, it's got to be so clever, don't you think? Mm, looks all right. You'll have to do better than this, though. Yeah, well, this is an ordinary public house, you know. It's more what you'd call a road house. We rely on the motor traffic. Oh, do you? Where are the motors, then? We'll be filling up soon, you'll see. Better class trade, too. Better class? Well, you know what I mean. Cars, cocktails, dinners. Mm. Them, for instance? You wouldn't act for the same place. Look at it. Gone seven and it's dead as a graveyard. There's you and me here. That's all I want. You ought to have seen it during the war. Standing six deep at the counter this time of night they were. And everyone's so nice and friendly. Especially the Americans. They've been here for nearly an hour. On the strength of a mild and bitter and a small gin in it. I know that girl from somewhere. Works at the sweet factory at Tamberland, don't she? Oh, I don't know, I'm sure. She looks like a factory girl to me. And she looks like four penny worth of trouble into the bargain. Yeah, nice drop of trouble, too. <laughs> Poor chap. She's got him on his string all right, walking her out by the looks of him. She won't walk far in them shoes, not if she's wise. You're right. Cardboard souls. Not worth the coupons, to say nothing of the money. Listen, then, let's talk about the future. Look when out do you think... there. In the old days, you couldn't have squeezed one of your old bicycles between the Jeeps and the cars. Lovely big Buicks and Packards, mostly. Yes, that's what you like, don't you? Big cars and plenty of money to chuck about. Say, what's biting you, big boy? I speak English. That's a nice way to talk to a lady, I must say. I can't think what's come over you tonight, Fred. It's you, Nan. It's... It's just so... so lovely, I... I can't get you out of my mind. I love you, Nan. You're like a... like a poison that's gotten to my system and I can't throw it off. Well, a poison, I must say. Well, you know, I didn't mean it like that, Nan. Poor old Fred. You do take on, don't you? But you do care for me, Nan, don't you? Of course I care for you. But you said you'd wait and see me, didn't you? You said you'd be patient. I know, but... Oh, come on, Fred, snap out of it. We're having a drink and trying to enjoy ourselves. There. What did I tell you? It's beginning, you see. Let's wait and have another one, Fred. Well, what about our bus? We can catch the next one, can't we? All right. Shall I go and fetch him, then? You'd better. They won't pop over the barn and come here to us, will they? Any moment now, Reggie? Not a moment too soon. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening, Ada. What's the spirit situation? We had our quota in this morning, sir. In that case, a very good evening. What's it to be, Reginald? Gin or whiskey? Whiskey, dear boy. Whiskey every time. Gins for women and children. <laughs> May we have two extremely large whiskies and an extremely small baby soda? Certainly, sir. You see, Reggie, a drinker's paradox. Soft music, unlimited liquor, practically no competition at all, and, uh... Uh. Half a mile and a gin and egg, please, miss. Oh, Ada, could you oblige me with five sixpences for half a crown? I want to play a game of billiards. Oh, I certainly see. Um, would you care for a game of billiards, sir? As you see, my unfortunate friend is not in the mood. Well, sorry, I'm afraid I can't, really. I'm with a friend, you see. Oh, really? Oh, I thought you were alone. Well, the more the merrier. Let's all play. Shall I ask her? All right. All oh, right, I'll ask her. And two and sevenpence. Can I have the penny? Because I want it for my change. Sorry, miss. Excuse my butting in, but, uh, won't you come and play this ridiculous game? OK. I'd like to. Splendid. I say, what are you drinking? Oh, of course, he's getting them. Oh, I must stop. 
Beer, I say. Stop that. These are on me. What are you drinking? Beer? Oh, you can't drink beer. Two more double whiskeys, please, Ada. Oh, that's very kind of you. I have to take away the taste of the beer. <laughs> oh, I've ordered whiskey for you. Is that all right? Yes, whiskey will do me fine. Thanks very much. Oh, will it mix all right? Of course it'll mix. Whiskey will mix with anything, except water. <laughs> Here's how. Cheers. Here's to you. I suppose you know you're a very attractive girl. It's very nice of you. The country is very nice of you. Pleasure's mine, so she said. <laughs> You didn't mind my saying that, did you? Not at all. Good, I thought you might be engaged or something. Oh, no, nothing like that. <laughs> what about this game? Oh, yes, I'd forgotten. I I'd better fetch Reggie first, though, and introduce you. Uh, I think he's fun. Good looking, too. Oh, I don't think he's good looking. Don't tell him it'll break his heart. Come on, Reggie, come on. We've only just got here. Mr. Yeah. Reginald Portman who, as you can see, has been to a cocktail party. Reggie, meet my friends. Do do? I didn't quite catch your names. Mine's Nancy Bedford, and he's Fred Lane. What's yours? A double whiskey, thank you very much. <laughs> Good evening, Nancy. Good evening, Fred. My name's Cole. King Cole? <laughs> no, only Captain Cole, alas. Army or Navy? Ex-Army. Now, tell me all about yourself, Nancy. Where do you come from? A one-horse dump called Tamperton, just down the road. And what do you do for a living, if anything? I'm in the wholesale confectionery business. <laughs> Dear me, I'd call that gilding the lilies, sweetening the sweet, you know. <laughs> what do you do, Fred? Uh, I'm in bicycles. Somebody asked me to have a drink half an hour ago, but nothing's happened. Quiet, Reggie, quiet. Bicycles, eh? Yes, bicycles. <laughs> what about this game? <laughs> of course, come along, Fred, quite right. I'll put the sixpence in. Sides. I'll choose Nancy. <laughs> that means we take on your Reggie. <laughs> he can't play. No, of course not. You take his turn, Fred. All right. Shall we make it a thousand up and the best out of three? Yes, and the losing side stands a round of drinks. Well, we'll make it 50 cigarettes and we can have a round of drinks when we feel like it. Your honor, madame. You don't know what you let yourself in for, Captain Cole. <laughs> no, but whatever it is, I'm sure to enjoy it with you as a partner, Nancy. You don't get me wrong, Captain Cole. I only meant I'd never played this game before. Well, let me show you then. That's the idea. <laughs> Nancy's my partner, but she's on your side, Fred. Sorry, partner. <laughs> Hundred. Hundred and twenty. Well played, sir. Jolly well played. Game, Captain Cole. <laughs> Your shot, Fred. Hundred. <laughs> no score. A bit of look out, you know. This is dishonest. Must be getting old. Come on, Nancy. Let's go and get some drinks while Fred plays. I say, Ada? It's you again, sir. What did I tell you? What? Bring back your empty glasses. Please. Sorry. Four double whiskies, please, and keep the change. Thank you, sir. I mean, this is more like it. I must expect a cobbler to come in and say there's a light showing through the blackout. The good old days. Eh, Nancy? Here, drink, sir. One's for my friend at the end there. Oh. The question is, Nancy, when do you and I get together? Oh, we're together now, aren't we? Oh, I mean together alone, tater tate, by ourselves. You mean just you and me? That's the idea. Well, not tonight, I'm afraid. 
to many mutual friends. Tell you what, we'll take them for a ride in the car and drop them on a lonely country road. I don't know about that, but I'd like to go in the car. Would you? All right, let's drink up and be gone. Oh, wait a minute. I've got the game to finish first. Well, if you insist. Pardon me. No, neck and neck. You've just got a lead of 100. Oh, skin off your nose. Not so bad. Bungo. Not so good. Your partner's got to play yet, don't forget. Now, look, Nancy, don't attempt anything ambitious. Just let him kiss. No score is all we want from you. Oh, I can't. I better knock one of them toadstools down. You take my turn for me, Captain. Go on, you No, 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 no. You must do it for yourself. Now, then. All right, here goes. Here, hold my drink. Knock him down, knock him down. Walk up, ladies and gents. Come and see how he did this. Knock him down, play up the old school. Play up the old school. Knock him down, ladies and gents. Come and see how he did Play up the old school. Knock him down, walk up, walk up. Oh, I sank the red. I sank the red. Did you see that red? I sank the red. Three cheers for the old school. Hey, man. Hey! Here are you. Yes, you and the old shirt. Come here. I want you. He's paid the last two. Okay. Uh, four double whiskeys, please, miss. Well, mate, what's the matter? Don't mate me. I don't like it. Where's my friend? What have you done with my good friend, Captain Cole? Take it easy. What do you mean, take it easy? Nothing left to take easy. You give me a drink, I'll take it easy. <laughs> All right, here you are. Stout fella, you're very good health, sir. Come on, Fred, where's my cigarette? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Uh, what sort? No, 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 no. You're not to pay for them, Fred. Come on, Reggie. Fork out for the cigarettes. Never smoke them bad for my liver. Your side's lost, and we want 50 cigarettes. What side? Your side. Whose side? I never take side. Oh, never mind. We want, what do we want? Uh, eight and four. We want eight shillings and four. <laughs> <laughs> we want eight shillings and four. 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 And so, so. Excuse me. Yes? Who are you? I'm the manager here, sir. Well, what do you want? Have you got a car outside? Yes, what about it? Do you mind parking it properly? It's in the way. Oh, all right. We're just going anyway. A lot of red tape. Wake up and finish your drink, Fred. The captain's taking us for a ride. In my car, she means. Come on, Cap. The law's the law. You'd better go. Fred will bring Reggie out. Won't you, Fred? All right. Come on, Reggie. There you go. Where's my hat? I want my hat. All right, I'll fetch your hat. Where'd you leave it? Somebody's taken my hat. I want my hat back. Are you sure you had a hat? Of course I had a hat. Well, maybe you left it in the car. Come on, we're going to see No. No hat, no girl, no car. Still want to wait for them? Mm -hmm. I never said I wanted to. But I still think we should. That's right. I want my hat. Who has taken my hat? Oh, damn. Come on, Reggie. <laughs> There's your perishing hat. Now put a sock in it, mate. Hey, Nan! Captain Cole! Nan, where are you? Here. And hurry up. Nancy's getting cold. Nice job of work. Bet you do some speeding in this. You win your bet, little girl. I'll show you what you can do when we get out in the straight. She's not doing so badly now. Oh, this is nothing to what I can do. Yes, I may be a bit of a slow starter, but when I get going, I get going. <laughs> slow starter, are you? I've noticed it. I say, old boy. Yes, Reggie? What about this drink you promised me? A carriage is a couple of hours ago. <laughs> Clarage Arms, Reggie. The Clarage Arms, man. Clarage Arms. What about this drink? You've had it, big boy. Look at him. What's the matter with him? A lousy crawler. The swine who holds you up. Can't you overtake him? Yes, I'm going to. Here, let's all shout crawler as we pass him by. <laughs> crawler! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it wasn't a man, it was a woman. Oh, I bet that took her. It shook me, all right. <laughs> What's the matter, Fred? Nervous? Well, you overtook in a corner, didn't you? Supposing someone had been coming round against you? When I drive, people don't come round corners against me. 
simply isn't done. Uh-oh, <laughs> here we go again. <laughs> I say, you ought to look where you're going, young fellow. Yeah, steady. I'm almost waiting all over the shop back here. I'll lean back and relax. Let's have some music, shall we? Well, you've got a harness, too. All hardbrow stuff. Um, can I get something else, Captain? Of course. Help yourself. <laughs> That's more like it. This looks a nice road. Where are we heading for, Captain? Haven't a clue. Do you know, Fred? That was Shirley Corner. If we follow this road, we'll come back to Randall Lock. Randall Lock? How far is that? Oh, about ten minutes, I should say. Five, I think. You can take it from me as ten minutes at the very least. Well, you bet. <laughs> I don't bet on certs, not with a pal. Oh, go on, Fred, will you bet? Well, if I was betting, I'd put my shirt in him not being able to do it in five minutes. Right, you're on. Now, just watch. Nancy will time us. <laughs> hey, don't be a fool. You can't do it in five. It's no good trying. Isn't it? You just watch. <laughs> yeah, come off me, Captain. He's up. He's up. Scared of losing your bet, Fred. Not my bet I'm scared about is my neck. Go on, Cat. Step on it. You show him. All aboard for Randall Luck. Have a do, Nancy. <laughs> oh, fine. Wish I could drive. I'd like to take the wheel while I light up. Could I? Why not? Man, are you crazy? You can't drive. But they're speedy. It's perfectly safe, Fred. But you can't litter. It's, it's suicide. I can and it isn't. Well, at least slow down. And lose my bet? Not on your life. Over to you, Nancy. Contact. Gently does it now. Gently does it. It's easy. It's easy. It's dead easy. How much am I doing, Captain? Fifty, Nancy. Turn off the radio. Turn it off. Turn it off, then. He's a man, I tell you. He was a man on the bike. He was going the same way. We hit him. I heard him. I heard him. I saw it happen. Here, you stop. We've got to stop and go back. What do you think you're doing? What do I think I'm doing? We're driving to Randall Lock, aren't we? But we can't. Don't you realize we've hit a man? Nan, you make him stop. Yes, aren't you going to stop? We have to go back if we hit a man, haven't we? I've got no evidence that we hit a man. I didn't see one. You heard the crash, didn't you? You can see the windscreen smash, can't you? Losing your nerve, Master Fred. Nerve might pull me out, kill someone. You've got a very gory imagination, my Never friend. Never mind my imagination. We've hit a man, we've got to turn around and go back. You're getting in a panic? Now, you're not going to lose your nerve, are you, Nancy? I don't know about that. Now, but... now, Nancy, show you've got some breeding. Don't soft soapy, Nan. Make him turn around. May I ask what you hope to gain by turning around? It's not a matter of gaining anything. I'm glad you realize that. But do you realize you've got quite a lot to lose? Your job, for example. We're all on the same boat, you know, Fred. Some people might even say you were most to blame for daring me to get to Randall Lock in five minutes. That's a lie. Is it? I thought you were willing to bet your shirt I couldn't do it in five minutes. Perhaps I was wrong. You did, Fred. You know you did. We can sort that out later. What we've got to do now is turn and go back. It hasn't it occurred to you that there are other motorists on the road? What's that got to do with it? If there's been an accident, they'll have found it by now. That's all. Oh, yes, that's right. I hadn't thought of that. Of course, there's no need for us to go back, Fred. But, Nan, you said yourself that... I know, but I was excited. He must have been found by now, stands to reason. The captain said, right, Fred, we can't do no good. Oh, shut up, Nan. You're not thinking right. Oh, aren't I? Well, what are you going to do about it, Fred Lankhope, in an art school? Is that what you're going to do? No, but I'll tell you what I am going to do. If you don't make him stop the car by the time I count ten, I'll do it myself. One. Cut it out. Two. Take her hand away or I'll give her all she's got. Go on, get back in your corner. Get back, Fred. Get back. You're all killed. She'll do ninety easily, you know. Glad he thought better of it. So am I. We better smash an awful smash. The kind of smash it would have been worth anybody's money turning back for. Hey, friend? Pity some people can't argue without losing their tempers. All right. Have it your own way. But you can't drive on forever. And what do you mean by that, Master Fred? You'll know quick enough. Look here, Fred, I'm sorry. I suppose my nerves are a bit on edge. Anyway, I, I apologize. Oh, forget it. Well? Aren't you going to stop?
Let's, uh, let's go in here and talk the whole thing over, shall we, Fred? No, we've got to turn around and go back. It's late enough as it is. Oh, come on, Fred. We won't be a minute to as the captain asks. And he wants another drink. Yeah, yeah. Of course I want another drink. We'll feel better, see things in their true perspective when we've steadied up our nerves a bit. Come on, Fred. We'll make it a quick one. All right, then. Around the corner, Nancy. Spider right around there. Good evening. Good evening. May we have four large whiskies, please? I'll make mine a lemonade, will you? All right. Four large whiskies and a lemonade, please. Who's the fourth whiskey for? <laughs> I'm very thirsty. Oh, I say, that looks rather cosy. May we go in there, landlord? Certainly, sir. You're very welcome. Thank you. Oh, one of these is for Reggie. Good girl. I'll, um, I'll fix up with you on the way out, landlord. <laughs> what a priceless little room. Oh, Lord. <laughs> look at mine host on his wedding day. Come and have a look at this one, Brad. Well, what's wrong with it? Well, it's not exactly a saddle robe cut, is it? Now, Fred. Go on. First of all, I want you to believe one thing, Fred. If I had seen a man on a bicycle, I'd have avoided hitting him even if I'd had to wreck my car. Now you do believe that, don't you? Yes, I suppose so. Good. Then you can't think me such a swine for not stopping when we hit that old bow, a tin can, or whatever it was. It wasn't a bow or a tin can. It was a man on a bicycle. I didn't see any man, Fred. Neither did you, for that matter. Nan saw him. Nancy says she saw him. Well, of course she saw him. She wouldn't make up a thing like that. You think a lot of Nancy, don't you? What's that got to do with it? Quite a lot, Fred, I'm afraid. You see, supposing she is right and we have knocked a man off his bicycle. We didn't stop, we drove on. Failure to stop after an accident. Police take a very dim view of that sort of thing, you know. You're a bit late in the day realizing that, aren't you? I suppose I am. But you see what would happen if we went back now. Oh, a man would have been picked up all right, but the police are sure to be hanging around. We'd run into a lot of trouble, Fred, all of us. Including Nancy. And you don't want that, now do you? Of course not. There's nothing to be gained. Don't you see that, Fred? There's nothing to be gained. It's got nothing to do with it. Even if we can't do no good, we've got to go back. It's against the law not to. It's against nature, common decency, everything. I tell you, we've got to go back. OK. If you want to go back, you can damn well walk. I'll hire a car and go back by myself. Really? I haven't seen many taxi ranks around here. The landlord will get me a car. He can phone and... Of course, that's it. I can telephone the police and report it from here. There's a phone in the bar. No, no, no. Wait a minute now, Fred. Now listen no. to me. I'm done listening to you. You've had it, Chan. Get out of the way. Supposing I don't? Landlord! Landlord! Splendid, Fred. Splendid. But don't forget, Nancy's in this up to the neck. She was driving and she hasn't got a license. She got hysterical and started screaming when we talked to stopping. You're in the clear. You were only a passenger. I'll get it as the owner, but Nancy's the one that's really for it. She'll get it. These... Yes, sir? Did you call, sir? No, no, it was my friend who called. Did you want something, Fred? No, it's all right. At least a present. I... We might have some more drinks, though. Uh, no more for me. No for me either. But uh, how's about filling this for us, eh? I'll see what I can do, sir. Thanks. Everything all right? Everything's wonderful. Fred's going to phone and get the police here. No, I, I meant... Fred, you must be mad. That's what I told him. As you were driving, they'll crack down on you. He'll get off scot-free, of course, but you and I, we'll get it in the neck. And they don't give the option of a fine in cases like this, either. It's always a good stiff spell in prison. Fred, you do care for me a little, don't you? I love you, Ned. Do you, Fred? You know I do. Won't you prove it to me, then? How? Forget about what's happened tonight. Let's pretend it's all just... We can't, Nan. You know we can't. Listen, Fred. You and I have had good times together. You want to go on having them, don't we? You want to marry me, don't you? Well, if you do as I want now, I won't keep you waiting any longer. Oh, I've played you off a bit, Fred, I know, but I won't no longer. Honest, I won't. We can get married as soon as you like. It's no good, Nan. That sort of thing wouldn't come to no good. You know, but Fred's right, Nan. I see that now. We've got to report it to the police. And if we keep our heads, we can do the right thing and still keep in the clear. Now, look, Fred. You can't telephone the police from out there. The landlord, all those men in the bar, they'd all hear. They couldn't help hearing. They'd never let us go. We'd have to stay till the police arrived. We'll have to stay till the police arrive, then. Not if we put the call through from a phone kiosk. We'll get back on the main road. There's one there every few miles. What do you say, Fred? Well... Good man. Come on, Nancy, let's get cracking. You two go ahead. I'll square up with the landlord. Be with you in a flash. Uh, could I have my flask, please? One pound for the night is all together, sir. 
Don't you see, Nan? We've got to do this. It's the least but we can. Don't speak to me again, Fred Lyon. You'll see I'm right in the morning when you... Now, Fred, wait a minute, Fred. Fred, wait for the captain. Captain, Captain Cole! Captain, come here quick! Captain, Captain Cole! Captain, come here quick! Fred, don't be silly. Fred... It's all right, then, see? Leave him alone. That's all right, Fred. Take it easy, lad. Think over what you're going to say first. Oh, back in the car. No, no, you're breaking you my arm. You heard what I said, did you? Back in the car. Look Good out. night, dear John. Good night, Sam. I'll see you here tomorrow. Quiet. 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 Quiet now. Quiet. Oh, no, you don't. You asked for this, Fred. You can't say you didn't ask for it. Quick march. Uh, yes, sir. Oh. Wake up, Reggie. Move over. Do it, Nancy. Hello, the return of the wanderers. What have the wanderers been doing? Wandering? Move over, Reggie. Anything to oblige a lady? feel terrible, old boy. No, no, it's not that. What's the matter, old chap? You've got to help me with these two. You've got to help me make them phone and report it so they can send someone to the spot. Report what? We've run down a man. We can't leave him to maybe die. Is this true? Yes, yes, I swear it's true. I don't believe a word of it. Yeah, you listen. Now, look here, I don't know you. I don't like the look of you. I don't like your face. I don't like your clothes. They don't fit. I don't like your shirt. I don't like your collar. I hate your collar. Yes, I hate his collar too, Reggie. <laughs> Let's have something to drink, shall we? Say when, Captain. Oh, no, you don't. Who's going to stop me? Me. You're in whose army? Fancy fellow. Here's your drink, Captain. All right, Nancy, you have it. I'll have one in a minute. OK, big boy. Like a drink, Reggie. Like a drink? Of course I'd like a drink. You threw my drink out of the window. Yes, and what are you going to do about it? Beneath contempt. Fred, if you knew what a nasty little bit of work you were, spitting venom at the back there, you'd quieten down before you get hurt. Quite badly hurt. If it wasn't driving, you'll be the one to get hurt. Really? Yes, I'd smash your face in. I'd like to try. Stop the car and I'll show you. Right. You can't fight him, Fred. It wouldn't be a fight, it'd be a massacre. Come on, out of No, it. wait a minute. Fred, don't be a fool, Fred. He'll kill you. Climb down, Fred. Climb down, I tell you. You shut up, you... You... So that's what you think, you self-righteous, self-satisfied, self-educated little sneak. I don't like anything about you. The way you dress, the way you speak, the way you act. I was proper bored with you all along, see? And I only played you up because you were soft. Think I was going to marry you? <laughs> you've got ideas above yourself, haven't you? There, you've had it now. I almost wanted to say that for a long time. Finished, then? Go on, Cap, give him the works. Now, Master Fred, you'll have an opportunity to show what you can do. I'm very, very tired of you. I'm going to settle you now, once and for all. <laughs> there, that do you? Had enough yet? Plenty more where that lot came from, you know. No, no, is that enough? <laughs> Look out! He's fooled you. He's given you the slip. Quick, get in. We'll catch him in the car. Little rat. Kidding, he was half dead. I'll make a job of him this time.
to Fred, I promise. I didn't mean what I said, Fred. Fred, Fred, come here. Fred, Fred. Oh, Fred, please. Are you there, Fred? Don't run away, Fred. Wait for us. We won't have you, Fred, if you come here. Fred, Fred, we'll take you home. Oh, don't be such a fool. You'll be all right, I won't let him touch you. I just know I'm Fred. Fred! Let me in. I've got a telephone. I've got to telephone the police. Are you alone? Yes. Hurry. Please hurry. Step back from the shadows and let me see you. Oh dear, you're hurt. I'll be down right away. Hurry. Hurry. There's no time to be lost. Don't be long. Don't keep me waiting long. Where's the telephone? It's there, but you're hurt. Come and sit down first and let me no, bathe no, your face. I'm all right. You don't understand. There's been an accident. A man's life may depend on... Hello. Hello. I thought I'd have the answer. Hello. Hello. There, there. Take it easy, lad. I'll get through for you. Let me speak to them. I'll speak to the police. Tell her. I'm so tired. I'm sorry, but I'm so tired. I've got to. Hello, May. Put me through to the police. Yes, I want the police. There's been an accident. Yeah, let me speak to them. You must let me speak to them. Hello. This is Tarbury Post Office. There's been an accident. I don't know. A young man's just come in. Hello. Is that the police? Oh, thank God. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry, but I... Thank you. Thank you. But you will hurry, won't you? All right. Yes, I know. All right. Yes, I'll try, but hurry. Hurry! Who were these people? I met him for the first time tonight in a pub. We played billiards and they offered to take us for a run in our car. Were they drunk or sufficiently under the influence of drink to be driving to the public danger? One of them was very drunk right from the start, but he wasn't driving. What about the driver? Well, before the accident he had one or two, but that didn't seem to affect his driving. He had some more afterwards. Steady his nerves. Now, listen, mate. It's no use trying to shield these people. They chop you if that half a chance. You're quite sure you didn't notice a number? Quite sure. Maybe it'll come back to you later. I don't think so. Who's near here? Just round the corner. You're quite sure there was an accident? Of course I am. The girl saw the man on the bike, didn't she? And there was the smash windscreen staring me in the face. There's no sign of any broken glass anywhere. Well, it seems nothing more we can do tonight. We'll drop you at your home. Might be worthwhile inquiring over there. Yes, can't do any harm. You stay with the car. Just what I want from a Sunday act. You and your feathers. Please, here. Open the door, please. All right. I'm coming. I told you no good to come of your poaching. You didn't say no to eating them, though. Oh, shh. Sorry to trouble you so late, but I'm making inquiries about an alleged accident in the vicinity. Accident, Sergeant? I've not reported no accident. No, but this gentleman has, and... Straight, I'm not going to report on no accident. Bill Evershaft down road reported on accident. He lost four days planting, giving the same evidence in court over and over again. I'm not going to lay myself open to that waste of time. But surely, if someone's been hurt... Who says someone's been hurt? No one's been hurt, as far as I know. This gentleman says a car hit a man on a bicycle back there, about an hour ago. Well, then he's mistaken. 
No man on no bike's been hurt round here for over 15 years, has there now, Nelly? That's right, Sergeant. Longer than that, you might say. I've only been here 15 years. What's wrong with your bicycle? Nothing. Mind if I have a look at it? Nothing to look at. That wheel's buckled a bit, but I'm not reporting it, mind. All right, if you tell me what happened. Anything I say won't be used in evidence against me. No. Nor Nelly here. No, no. What happened? Well, it was like this. I had my bike leaning up against the fence with a sack of taters on it. While I was tending to... to something in the field. And car coming along Shirley Corner, like the gent said, hit the bike and scattered the taters. But no one was hit, no one was hurt. What time we thought... I thought... It's funny, isn't it? Only a sack of potatoes after all that. <laughs> well, nothing to laugh at. Took me and Nelly half an hour to gather them up again. There they are, son. Thanks. Good night. Good night, Sergeant. Had an exciting evening then, sir? A bit too exciting, really. Never mind. Next time we'll be alone. When's next time? Whatever you say, Nancy. Tomorrow? <laughs> it's a date. Good girl. You know, Captain, I liked you the first moment I saw you. Did you, Nancy? Say, so what's what's all this? It's my collection. Oh, you must let me add to it. Will you, Captain? Of course. Oh, I love this bracelet. The charms come from different people all over the world. This one was from Kentucky Joe. This one was from Elmer from Baltimore. Johnny gave me this one. He was an awfully nice boy in the Canadian Air Force. <laughs> I'll squeeze you in here. Thank you, Nancy. The bracelet's gold, you know. 18 karat gold. Is it, Nancy? I could do with a drink. Anything left, Nancy? Just a drip. <laughs> That'll do for the driver. <laughs> Bad luck, Reggie. Do you think you should? I mean, as you're driving. It's all right, Nancy. I'm never too tight to drive. Fact is, I can't drive properly till I am tight. Give me gallons and I get going. This fellow trying to overtake us. What's that? Been following us for five minutes. What's the matter? Police. Police? About the accident? No. No, they couldn't know yet. How could they know yet? Fred. Telephone's wireless. Oh, let's go home. They can't touch us if we go home. Oh, take me home. You'll fork left here and see if they follow. I'll teach them to follow me. Gentilly, gentilly, gentilly. On, think we will go. Take it easy. There's no need to go mad. <laughs> that last drink's done the trick. I'm tight at last. <laughs> you hello, tally ho, tally ho. Follow me, would you? Please, stop. Stop him. You'd kill us. He's mad. He's mad, I tell you. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Stop. Why should I stop? I can drive, can't I? I can drive with one hand. I can drive with no hands. <laughs> home now, son. Sorry to have caused you so much trouble. Nonsense. You've got the right ideas. You thought you hit a man and you reported it. For all the others care, he might be dying by the roadside at this moment. What a fool I've been. No. You did right. It might have been serious. What a fool I've been. What a damned silly fool. <laughs> How they'll laugh when they hear that I, I made all that fuss over a few potatoes. How they'll laugh. 